So after sticking it to the man using a set of screwdrivers and a soldering iron, I think I'm ready to play some more Thief. Just listen to the sound of that rain. <sighs> listen. Okay, stop listening. It's freaking Sturm Drank Peak by Nick Dablin. And uh, uh, once again, like usual, I'm very late to playing it and everybody's already played and enjoyed it already. So you can therefore watch me do it again in case you don't have anything better to do with your day. <laughs> Never mind. Let's start a new game. No tasty candy color difficulties this time, just expert. Returning to your apartment, you find a letter waiting for you! Okay. <laughs> so, now, spoiler, I have played, like, a couple of minutes. I just sort of got to the end of this, which is, like, really just walking into your apartment, so I, this isn't blind, but everything else is blind. And, uh, yeah, spoiler, Garrett starts talking, so I'm gonna hush. I had just returned from fencing the last of the loot from the mansion job I pulled a couple of weeks ago when I noticed a letter on my doormat. It was from an old flame of mine, Vivianne. I hadn't seen her in years since we parted on less than amicable terms. Really? So Garrett has an old flame. Now, let, let me just say a few words about this. Those who have seen some of my older Let's Plays, or just happened to have come across the random lucky one where I said it, which I can't remember where, I have said a few times that I'm not such a keen fan of the idea of Garrett having a love life. That's just a personal thing. Um, however, you know, this mission is made by freaking Nick Dablin, or Nicked, who made Whispers in the Desert and From Beneath the Sands, and, like, uh, a couple others I'm forgetting. Memoirs of a Dead God, I think, and some others. So, you know, I don't know. This guy obviously makes good missions, so I think I can forgive a little horrible lack of of catering to one guy's personal taste on the internet here and, and still play it. So, yeah. Oh, man. Well, I happen to know that this letter actually ends the mission. Yeah. So I kind of just want to explore in here a bit, you know. The uses and properties of elemental crystals. Jared Sloop. These must be references. Practical modern security. They're, you know, they're not really hilarious or anything. They're basically just kind of flavor books. I like how this one's hanging over the edge, though. It looks pretty cool. Lost temples and treasures. For some reason, every time I have occasion to play a fan mission, wherein you go into your own apartment and there's loot, I keep thinking I should be able to rob for myself. Like, it doesn't make any sense. I'd just be putting it back there, but I'm just like, loot! Must get it! <laughs> anyway, Garrett's got a pretty friggin' nice setup here. And, you know, he's got dishes and everything. Oh, my God. And I guess this is his bedroom, or as they say in Canadian, wash basin. And, uh, yeah, it's so trippy. You can't take a, a flash bomb. And I guess he's got his prize swords and a dummy in case he wants to wake up in the middle of the night and have even more nightmares. And, yeah. Another thing I want to mention real quick about this mission is that the readme says that you should install the object enhancement pack. Which is fine, but I wonder why he didn't just put the objects into the mission itself like most people do. Because I find it really annoying to have to install it myself and keep multiple installs in case it messes up other FMs, which it will. I don't know, just like, put it inside your FM. Jeez. Anyway. <laughs> Vivian's letter. Let's read. Dear Garrett, it has been many long years since our last encounter, yet it does not seem strange to think of you now. I hope that you have not forgotten me or the nights we spent together. <laughs> I write to you now in great peril, and I pray that you will put aside any ill feelings and come to my aid. Oh, I'll come to your aid. <laughs> yeah. Some months ago, I became engaged to Sir Alexander Horgan. What? You bitch! Yeah, that's great. Write to a guy who was your an old flame and tell him you got married. That's a great idea. Oh. Sir Alexander Horrigan, the commander of the city navy. I thought my dreams had come true when I came to stay at the castle at Sturmdrang Island, but if I had known then what I know now, I would have refused his advances. Alexander has fallen into madness, as married men tend to do in fan missions. A great obsession has overwhelmed him, and the cause of it is the discovery of the long-hidden treasure of Captain William Sturmdrang, the ferocious pirate who originally built the fortress here at Sturmdrang Peak. It has stripped my fiancé of his sanity, driving him to paranoia, obsession, and dark moods. Kind of like Rowena's curse, actually. Inspiration, perhaps? 
Perhaps, uh, and I fear for my life. I wish only to get away from here, and I know you have the skill and contacts to help me escape to where he can never find me. Please, if you ever cared for me at all, help me now. I will wait for you at the inn near the docks. The blasted trout. Find me in room one. Vivian Swift. I wish I could say I was tempted only by the lure of pirate treasure. But that would be a lie. I couldn't just leave her to her fate. Maybe I'm not such a cold-hearted bastard after all. Oh, Garrett. Oh, Garrett. Yeah. Movies, very difficult to play. They're lazy sorts. They sit on the goddamn couch in the parents' basement and don't ever play! Except video games. I think I might be stretching the metaphor. Man, does anybody have this problem where a movie you'll play once and then never again? Or sometimes not at all with New Dark? I mean, I know it used to happen, but seriously, what the shit? Anyways, whatever, I guess I'll look it up in the forum. Enough tech talk, let's play the game. Damp atmosphere. Oh, I'll give her a damp atmosphere. <clears throat> After a short sea voyage, you've arrived at Sturmdrang Island. Your letter from Viviane asks you to meet her in room one of the local inn, the Blasted Drought. Go to the Blasted Room and find out why she needs your blasted help. You overheard a couple of sailors on the boat over here talking about a rich nobleman staying at the inn. Make sure he leaves slightly less rich. <laughs> I like the creative ways that fan mission authors always find to, uh, say, steal loot. The dockside warehouse caught your eye as you were walking down the gangplank. Break in and see what precious cargo you can find. Oh, precious cargo. Name drop. Yeah. The villagers and watchmen don't have any reason to be suspicious of you. Don't get caught breaking in anywhere you shouldn't or be or attacking and be anyone be. Okay. Bees! Wow. Oh, man. Look at that rain. Like, look, dude. The watch should leave me alone. As long as nobody sees me breaking and entering, that is. <laughs> Look at the water just dripping off. Oh, man, that is so cool looking. Like, that really gives it a whole other... I mean, it's one thing to have rain, but just everything looks soaked if it's dripping off. That is such a neat touch. Like, oh, man, okay, I was really anticipating this mission. I mean, you know, a lot of people were, but... Uh, I guess it's a mechanist doll, but yeah, like I saw some screenshots and I knew that it was going to have some cool stuff with the rain, but I either I didn't know or I'd forgotten specifically what it was, but man, I just, it's such a simple effect, but it's, you know, awesome. So there's a blasted trout, so I could go right to my goal, I guess. I kind of want to see if there's anything ancillary I can do here. Ancillary or an just ancillary thing. And silly thing, you know, get the wordplay. Oh man, oh man, oh man, whatever. Finn's Diary, Thursday the 2nd. Business has been slow, but I'm doing well enough to stay afloat. If I could only find a way to sabotage that conniving son of a baboon, Jack, next door. Every time I legitimately locate a good fishing area, that stinking fat git comes along and cheats me out of it by fishing the area dry. I have a good mind to knock some manners into that thick head of his, perhaps with a good frozen solid haddock. <laughs> well, sick the EPA on his ass because he's overfishing. Well, I like the fish and the, the crabs and stuff. I'm... Guessing that even though the window wasn't locked, I'm probably not supposed to be here, and so, yeah. <laughs> uh, I like the general design and stuff so far. The look is pretty cool. And interesting thing, sort of interesting, is that this mission, while it's been in development for... Woo, almost clacked. For quite a while now, and uh, since long before New Dark came out, the sun is in my eyes in real life, damn it. Well, whatever. And so, this mission is sort of designed for... And compatible with standard 1.18 Thief. So uh, it doesn't specifically use new dark features, I don't think. So no fancy lighting or anything, but... Oh, hey. Awesome, like frickin' Thief 3 style candle putting outs. And also a lot of fan missions allow that, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and since I guess I can... Someone there. Crouch mantle. Hey. <gasps> Who are you? Something. Or, or what? Well, perhaps I can't. That's... Weird? Dude, look at this guy's leg. <laughs> look at this guy's leg. Someone... <gasps> Who are you? <laughs> it's twisted around. That's trippy. Don't fix that bug. I like it. Oh, I'm an idiot. There's a door, like, right here. Okay, then. Well, fine. I guess it kind of takes me out to the other side. Well, I guess I better close this window. Just, you know, because I guess I better close the window. But it's kind of one way, so now I'm over here. I hope I can get back over there some way. Yeah, I probably can. It'll be ridiculous-ish if I couldn't, so... Yeah. 
Now, don't get caught stealing or breaking and entering or anything like that. And, uh, everything should be all good. Man, oh man, oh man. There is a bog stock statue. That is really awesome. There's a bog stock text dedicated to the memory of Commander James Galloway, naval hero, scourge of piracy, and the liberator of Sturmdrang Peak. Man, you know, being in the middle of playing Bioshock Infinite there, I'm now going to consider anything remotely involving a city, or an army, or a hero, or anything as being, like, creepy. Because Bioshock Infinite pretty much ruined the entire concept of uh, a nice place for me. <laughs> well, that's a weird thing to say. Anyways, that guy's got some odd sort of legs that are a bit far apart for some reason. <laughs> I think his legs are a bit forward when he's walking. It's weird. Anyways, yeah, there's new AIs here. In case, you know, you didn't realize. Well, I haven't come across a door that I need to pick or anything yet, so... I don't have lock picks anyway, even though I had them in... Oh, yeah! That's right, I traveled light. Oh. So, since I don't have lock picks, even just entering a regular door counts as breaking and entering a regular door. Uh, yeah. Jesus Christ, son! Fuck off! Holy goddamn Christ on a fuck stick! Stupid blinds with slats in them! Anyways... <laughs> I'm a terrible Let's Player. It seems my Let's Playing skill has rather fallen off of late for some hilarious reason, but <laughs> whatever. It seems the rain has got a different sound, kind of like in uh, Kotapa, where you go under a roof, you sort of hear the tapping on the roof, and when you're sort of not under it, you don't. It's pretty freaking awesome. So anyways, I guess I'll go in here and hope that this guy doesn't sort of walk through the door, which he will, so instead I'm going to do the thief tactic of just sort of standing to the side until he goes away. Pretty great. Let us see where he goes. Well, like any homeowner, he sort of paces around his house restlessly, doing nothing of consequence. Good job, sir. Well, there he goes that way. Through the door. All right, so don't get seen. I was saying something amazingly interesting just now, but uh, I seem to have forgotten it. Oh yeah, I remember what I was saying, by which I mean I went and looked at the video to remember what I was saying. I was talking about Garrett traveling light. The readme says, shit. The readme says shit, man. Which is better than it saying not shit. What's that over there? Oh, 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 he's warming his hands by his money box. Don't hurt me! God damn it! Yes, okay, Garrett travels light. So says the readme. And... Like, what? Okay, he goes that way, right? And, uh, he doesn't even take his lockpicks, which... That's a little weird to me, because lockpicks are extremely light and small and picky and stuff. Uh, sort of like I was when I was a kid. Oh, and uh, he really should have brought them, but I guess, you know, rule of gameplay, there's probably going to be some cool gameplay going on. So I guess, really, the thing about this house is I probably just want to get some loot from that. Mere 25 gold or maybe silver or pennies or something almost makes it seem hardly worth it to be a thief in a foreign town with beautiful rain and a pretty awesome thing thing. So apparently this uh, campaign is so awesome! And uh, I can definitely get with it being 20% cooler than any other rain. Uh, I hope that I'm a really hip kid because I'm using like awesome phrases that nobody has used yet. Oh yeah! That guy just walks funny, I don't know what it is. It's sort of weird. But I... <laughs> I could have just gone right to the start, right exactly to where I was supposed to go. But, I actually need to, like, do stuff at the dockside warehouse and all that sort of nonsense also. So it's, you know, it's it's cool and purposeful that I came here. I love this, like, I remember now thinking, like, because there was talk in the thread with the screenshots about how he's going to have cool rain and stuff. And I remember thinking, like, man, I, I wonder if he's going to have these location-sensitive sounds like in Keeper of the Prophecies, and he did. It's like, one of the things I really remember from Keeper of the Prophecies in that one level, and it's like, really awesome that he brought it back here. It's so freaking cool. And, uh, also, to address something which I somehow have not ever addressed yet, I'm not sure why, I'm gonna play Thief 3, it's just for some reason I felt like starting with this, because... A bunch of days off from Let's Playing, not so confident, <laughs> for some reason, because I lose it that quickly, obviously, and I didn't want to start a professional awesome game, because Thief 3 is obviously the most polished professional game ever, uh, and not be good or something. Who's I can't that? remember where I was Hello? going with that. But hey, everybody likes me babbling, right? 
Dear Miriam, I think I shall be returning to the city just as soon as I can get a job on one of the trading vessels passing through here. Life on this island is not the exciting adventure I had hoped. Instead, it is a quiet and boring little town with nothing much to do besides hard work. And the weather is quite disagreeable to my sensibilities. It is always hot, even in the winter months, yet it rains a warm torrent most every day at various unpredictable times. Well, you don't want an unpredictable torrent, man. One becomes soaked to the bone and drenched with sweat at the same time. A most unwelcome sensation. Give my love to Prue and the twins. Kind regards, Philip. Well, all right. I guess I won't steal Philip's stuff because he doesn't seem to have any. Mm. Guess it was nothing. What was that noise? And he actually probably has a hand mirror. That's pretty manly, uh, except... Yeah, I don't know why I would say that. It's like a jerk thing to say. It seems to have an exhibit of, like, clothing as if it were some kind of museum. But really, it's just a fancy dresser. I guess fanciness is pretty cool. Oh, yeah! You can frob these out. See, I thought you could only frob candles, but I guess you can frob thingy things, too. I suppose I approve of that. I kind of want to get at least close to, like, one of these goals here. Do I have a map? Oh, I do! Holy shit, it's like an auto map and everything! Wow! Holy smokes! That's awesome! Full on... Sweet! Full on sweet! So... Right. Weird walking guards with big scimitars from foreign lands. Okay, what are we... Power station! Electric lighting installed this fifth day in March 1487 by the noble order of the Hammer. The builder's world shall be as a beacon in the dark. And by world, I mean word. I guess I want to turn off the electrics? I don't know. Maybe I'll just kind of go in here. It's a banana! <laughs> oh man, I guess I will have eaten that banana. I won't just reload like a freaking jerk. Kind of wish you could turn those back on. I don't know why you'd want to, but just, you know, for the sake of fun and realism, I kind of wish you could turn a banana on. I mean, turn, 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 turn a candle on. Yeah. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Man, this looks really good. Like, there are kind of like more extravagantly in your face beautiful sort of like fancy looking things like Rose Cottage and stuff but this just looks really really nice like yeah I mean it it's it's not like trying to be all all like hey I'm the I'm the most you know king story fanciful over the top crazy looking thing but it just like it's it's just real tasteful looking and looks good I mean yeah so I guess that's the street lamps. I don't know if some guy is going to come up here and turn them back on. It's possible. Chief Engineer's Log, September 2nd. These mechanical contraptions were not built for the... Sorry, built for the humid weather and unpredictable rainstorms down here. The hammers think they're so great, but the tropical conditions play havoc with the electrics. I think I've fixed up the generator so the street lights won't go out again, but I'll be buggered if I'm coming back to fix it again today. I'm off to see Wendy down the docks, get plastered, and try to slip my hand up her skirt. <sighs> well, with that note, I think I'll leave that guy to his perversions and come back another day. So see you guys later, and bye for now. God damn, I'm hungry.